Okay, we have here a Moto G Stylus smartphone in case that you experience slow data connection or you have any technical problems with your phone and you would like to do a factory reset uh, because probably another uh, common issue is that the phone powers off itself every hour or something like that. So you sometimes you don't have to actually do a factory reset. You can just, just uh, go to reset uh, preferences or reset Wi-Fi mobile in Bluetooth okay so let's go to step by step these three options uh, before you go into a factory reset okay so let's open the phone settings and at the bottom of the screen you're gonna see the option system and then you're gonna touch advanced and then reset options and make sure that you have your Google account associated with a backup because after this factory reset uh, you have you may you are gonna lose every single items on your internal memory so you have an external memory you can go ahead and remove your external memory card okay let's talk about the first option reset wi-fi mobile bluetooth <laughs> this option um, it will refresh any connection problems with bluetooth or wi-fi uh, if the bluetooth you get so many interference like you're not able to uh, hear very well your music or when you talk on the phone okay and also uh, wi-fi connections and uh, these two options uh, will delete every password stored in your phone that means that uh, you have to enter the password wi-fi password again and the bluetooth you have to um, connect uh, the uh, um, i mean the bluetooth device on your smartphone one more time uh, the mobile data will help to if you experience slow data connection will refresh your APN settings and uh, will disconnect your SIM card and connect again to your smartphone you are actually gonna register to the network okay so if you are ready to do this and this is something that you would like to do just go ahead and touch reset settings and um, so this won't delete anything on your phone like pictures, videos, contacts, or losing data, you won't lose anything. This is just a system reset. Okay, so let's go in, uh, touch the reset settings. And once you at the bottom of the screen, you're gonna receive a message has been uh, refresh. And uh, so let's go back here and talk about the second option. Uh, reset app preferences. Uh, if you experience any problems with any app, um, you can uh, refresh every single application on your smartphone and any changes that you did on that application it will be lost in case that um, you turn off any application or turn off notifications also um, you have to go back to the application and uh, make the changes yourself okay so this is gonna bring up every single um, application to the default settings okay so let's go and you did something you want to do just restore the apps okay and uh, the last option is uh, erase all data factory data reset so this is something that you would like to do to uh, delete every single um, items on your internal memory like uh, birthdays uh, credit card information uh, pictures, videos, contacts, download applications and everything like that, then this is what you need to do. And also, like I said before, you have to know your Google account because after the factory reset, there is a step that you have to pass and verify Google in order to continue. And if you fail to uh, provide your Google and password, uh, your phone will be blocked permanently. So just be careful with that. And that's, that's I that's for your protection that's uh, something that Google come, came up with so make sure that you go to any computer and um, log into that account just to make sure that you have the right uh, password okay right so you're ready just touch the erase all data and if you have any password pattern or pin they want to ask you to enter that password and once you uh, touch that one uh, the phone will uh, reboot and it will take a few minutes for the phone to um, uh, reboot okay so just uh, be patient it's going to take five to eight until ten minutes so 
that's erasing everything and if um, you experience uh, just in case that the phone gets stuck on the Motorola logo or track phone logo that means that something is wrong with the phone so what we have to do is um, we have to do the factor reset one more time or sometimes you have to do it to two or to ten times the same process but since we won't be able to go back to the settings and uh, then uh, that's when you we have to do a, a hard reset that's what they call using volume down and power key to start the hard reset with the phone power off okay so if you need help with that please find my video um, hard reset Moto G stylus here in my channel I have a playlist for Moto G stylus tech support just open the playlist and uh, find my video hard reset uh, Moto G stylus and follow those steps to do a uh, reset with the external keys okay and uh, so we are in the initial setup screen just uh, select the language that you would like to use on your phone take your time and review every single language that this uh, Moto G stylus come with so you can uh, take advantage in case that you are learning or something like that it's a good tip to uh, practice Alright, so select your preferred language and hit the start button to start and program the phone. Okay, this step you can you have to connect to a Wi-Fi or if you have a active SIM card from your carrier, just go ahead and insert it. If not, just skip the step. Um, see if you have no. If, if you haven't ha used your phone to any uh, Google account, okay, so all right, it's a um, time zone, just select your time zone and um, and then second option is the date, to move the month, just hit this arrow, select the day and uh, okay to save, uh, this is the hour, the minutes, and is a.m. or p.m. And then hit OK. And once you hit the next button at the bottom, every changes will be saved. Okay, so just hit the next button here. Okay, um, Google locations. I highly recommend you to leave everything. I mean the three options on on, because you need to provide Google your lo phone location for better results when you go to a Google search engine and anything that you type the first result is the one on your based on your phone location um, and then Wi-Fi available they will notify you so you can take advantage of this uh, to save your pa data package this is the any uh, updates for your Android they will notify you so leave those three on uh, touch accept to continue now you can uh, take and unlock your screen with a password, pattern, or pin. You can do this one right now, or you can do it once you get to the uh, home screen. So I'm gonna skip this step for now. Okay, Motorola terms and conditions, accept to continue, enter your email, you want to receive any uh, news from for your Motorola. Um, carry location access, next. You want to provide carry location just all the time and accepting continue track phone terms and conditions and your phone with the Android 10 it comes with uh, a gesture to navigate the screen instead of buttons okay so just um, take your time and um, learn how to move your screen with the gestures and also if you prefer to use the uh, three buttons to navigate the screen like this one um, I do have a, uh, a video how to set up three buttons uh, that's the common way like we use to move the screen so if you miss that I have a video how to uh, activate those so just follow the steps of that video and the, the title is um, Moto G Stylus uh, three buttons to navigate the screen okay uh, well let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe to the channel and uh, 
like I said before, anything that you need, just a search in my playlist here in this um, channel. Thanks so much and subscribe.